So I've received a lot of different questions regarding dual applications. My name is Dr. Moss. I'm a PGY1 psychiatry resident and I dual applied back in 2023-24 to both family medicine and psychiatry. Now psychiatry has become super competitive, which means that it's becoming harder and harder to be able to match in psychiatry. So throughout these videos and the next couple days, I'll be providing 10 key things if you are dual or triple applying to different specialties, you're gonna make sure you want to save these videos. So make sure you subscribe and click follow to get these 10 tips on how to dual apply to different specialties. Number one, you need to make separate personal statements for each residency specialty you're applying to. Why is that? Most people who interview you will just receive your personal statement to quickly review before they see it. Make sure it only mentions that specific specialty. For example, if you're applying to psychiatry, only mention why you are best for psychiatry, why the psychiatry residency would value or benefit from you being a part of their program. Same thing, maybe focus on a clinical patient example from psychiatry. Same thing for the family medicine personal statement, only focus on values and concepts that are just in family medicine. Tip number two, everything in the ERAS goes to all specialties you're applying to. Not every single interviewer will have the chance to read your activities because that will take a lot of time. But for sure, the program director and the assistant program director will be reading it. Make sure that you do not mention anywhere in the personal statement or ERAS that you're applying to multiple specialties. They wanna know that you are dedicated to their specialty only. Tip number three, in the ERAS, make sure that you have activities that benefit or can be explained through both specialties. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do a psychiatry one or a family medicine one. Let's say, like me, I created activities for a group teen therapy. Now, obviously that makes sense for psychiatry, but how did I connect that to family medicine? In family medicine, I would still be working with teenagers and helping them transition throughout their year in puberty and college. So super important to connect it for both specialties. Make sure in the ERAS you do not mention the specialty you're applying to because it goes to all the programs you're applying to. Only mention the specialty in the personal statement. Tip number four, make sure you have mentors from each specialty you're applying to review the personal statement in ERAS to make sure it aligns with the values and the feel for that type of specialty. Tip number five, make sure you have electives or aways from both specialties you're applying to. That includes sub eyes. For example, since I did both psychiatry and family medicine, I did child and adolescent psychiatry, my sub internship in family medicine. And then I did a sub internship in inpatient psychiatry. So both different ones for each. Tip number six, go to conferences from both specialties. Make sure you network and go to both residency fairs because you're gonna want to meet the residency program directors, the residents, and get a feel for each type of specialty. This is super important before you interview because you can let the program directors know, hey, I applied to yours, remember my name. You can also get a better idea for the types of things that are important for that specific specialty and a program that you can mention in the interview. Tip number seven, don't forget in the interviews to not say that you're dual applying. Practice speaking on the specific commonalities and differences in the specialty you're applying to. Make sure you are very key today. I'm interviewing for family medicine or OB-GYN. That way you don't accidentally say the other because it's a pretty easy way for them to say nope if they know that you're not dedicated to their specialty. Tip number eight, do not say in the interview, social media, emails that you're dual applying. Be very careful on this Everyone knows it's the reality nowadays that in order to match, because matching is a goal, that you're gonna dual or triple apply just to guarantee your match. But do not say it. 
be focused. Make sure you're identifying if you're going to med Twitter. Be very careful you're not saying which specific specialty you're going to unless it's only that specialty. Tip number nine, make sure you get letters of rec from each specialty, preferably one from each specialty or more. And one from a separate specialty. Let the person know that you are applying to multiple specialties so they can speak on qualities that are appealed to both specialties. For that one that is not neither of those, maybe they can do two to just change up psychiatry, family medicine, or just say residency in general. You really want those letter of writ writers to speak on your character, your values, and how they've seen you in the clinical environment. Tip number 10, be very organized with spreadsheets, calendars, make sure you're only signing up for one interview a day. I know sometimes they are like in the morning, in the afternoon, that can get really confusing and sometimes they go longer or something happens, they maybe switch your time. So make sure just one interview a day. I made it easier for myself and I said, this week I'm gonna try really hard to only do family medicine. This week I'm gonna do all psychiatry so I could really get in the mindset. When you end up ranking your programs, you can go different ways. You can do your top specialty on the top and your second specialty on the bottom, or you can go with your heart, which is what I recommend. Don't think about each specialty. Think about each program where you want to spend the next three to five years. Where do you connect most with their values, their passion? Where did you get along with the program director and residents? Where will you enjoy working as a colleague? Hopefully that helps. 10 tips. Make sure you subscribe and save and for more tips on my website, medpsychmoss.com, there's a blog post and a video on how to apply to residency and more tips for red flags, failures, leave of absences, disabilities. Hope to see you there. Bye-bye.